Hey, I see you're having issues with your solo start button, so I'm going to make a quick tutorial here on how to do it for you. Uh, I'm going to be putting the file you need below. So you, all you have to do is drag and drop into your uh, main UI file area, where I'll show you quickly. So if you're in your root folder, go to raw and then scroll on the UI. So it's just going to be called Nazi Zombie Map Name, but I'm just going to show you exactly what's in it. So this is Nazi Zombie Arena. I literally just did this one. So what you can do here is uh, you're going to open, it should be this line here, so this right here, but how to find it is to search solo zombies, and then this should come up. You can change this to whatever you want. This is the text displayed uh, on the button, and then all you have to do is change here, where it says map, and then that's going to be uh, arena. So, like, your map could even uh, be a de developer like load if you want, but if you go dev, map and then this will be dev load but that's just in case you want to use cheats for testing and all that and then you can also if you want you can actually copy this Oops. You can copy this paste it here and then just make sure it says three and then you can put it as a dev map but like I said just make sure you change like this one right here so it is uh, your map name so once you do that, you just have to go into your mod builder. You don't even need to compile. You just go into mod builder and you paste this line where it says menu file, comma UI slash Nazi Zombie Arena dot menu. This will be in the description below. So just copy paste it and make sure it says your map name instead of Arena. That's the biggest thing. And then when you load it, like after building, make sure you build with IW D and then the uh, mod build. So when you run it, you should notice that it should have your menu up here. So like I said, that solo zombies is going to be what's displayed up here. But like I said, you can copy it down there, just make sure you change it to a 3. And then you can uh, make it a dev map if you want. I have that in some of my other ones just for testing reasons. So once you once you click it, it should load your map. It should not bring up the uh, campaign at all. And hopefully this helps you. Like I said, you can download the um, you can download the file from me in the description below. And then you can also... Uh, download notepad plus plus which will be down there just to, so in case you don't have it it makes it a lot easier for sure